for letting me come down here. Uh, I could not be more proud of the work that you've done uh, here at the uh, Times Theater. I'm really, really proud of this community. To see a project like this revitalize a community is not something that is easy to do, but it takes the entire community rallying around it to make it happen. And I'm really, really passionate about the revitalization of small town America, having places like this where people want to grow up raise their family and stay here instead of doing what so many other people used to do, which is move away. And this community and this building specifically is a big part of that. And so one of the things I'm actually able to do as a member of Congress is, some of you may know this, but since the very beginning of the United States Congress, we have kept what we call congressional records, where everything that we do in the House of Representatives, we keep a record of, and that record goes permanently to the National Archives. When historians are looking at history and they're researching a certain time period in history, oftentimes the very first place they look to find out what was happening at that time is the congressional record. As a member of Congress, I'm able to enter things into the congressional record for future historians to have a look at. And so I have actually done a congressional record entry in your honor for your work here. And what I'd like to do... What I'd like to do, if it's okay with all of you, is to read to you what I've entered in the congressional record. I said, Mr. Speaker, I rise to recognize Julie Schaumbarger for the incredible work she has done to revitalize downtown Rochester, Indiana by spearheading the effort to refurbish and reopen the Times Theater in Rochester. As is the case in so many venues in Main Streets across America, the Times Theater was an iconic symbol of Main Street Rochester before closing its doors in 2014. Rather than accept the Times Theater's apparent fate as a project of the past, Julie poured her heart and soul into the mission of ensuring this cherished community fixture would be open for business and welcome to visitors once again. Guided by her belief that the Times Theater could be restored as the vibrant heart of the Rochester community, Julie marshaled the effort to acquire the grants and donations needed to renovate the Times Theater so its reopening could not only be a possibility, but a reality. Today, the Times Theater has hosted not only movies, but also live music and community events, and it has welcomed over 9,000 guests since opening last February. It has elevated the cultural landscape of Rochester and has been a beacon of artistic innovation and creative expression. At, at a time when many of America's social and civic ties are fraying, places like the Times Theater, uh, places the community can take pride in and uh, congregate at, are all the more important. I and so many other Hoosiers are immensely grateful to Julie for the dedicated and diligent work she has done to bring more energy and life back to downtown Rochester and all of Fulton County. I look forward to visiting the Times Theater again soon and seeing how Julie's efforts will continue to pay dividends for years ahead. Signed, Congressman Rudy Yacom. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me. do about me like there's so many people that That's started with this and thank God because I wouldn't have um, it just was perfect timing a lot of things came together and that flip switch got flipped and I could see it and the pandemic happened it you know we had time uh, a network I'm looking at I personally know about everybody in this room family and friends and just leaned on everybody surrounded myself with the best of the best and just pushed and pushed and promised they couldn't outwork me um, <laughs> we've been here every day for three years and almost three and just it, thank you for showing up when we did is all I can say really because we tried to match every dollar with hard work and dedication here, here.